hello guys i'm back with another exciting video welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here you are welcome my name is tracy over here we don't pamper floors we eliminate it and i am here to help you with that elimination process and i'm starting now apparently after watching one of my videos one of you sent me a message which i'm going to read out loud and then address Okay, here's the message. Please, I have bleached my skin, but I have stopped bleaching. So please, which product can I use to get back to my normal skin color? Please help me. I have dark spots and stretch marks on my body. Please help me out, please. So after reading this message, it really touched my heart. So I thought to make a video that would answer this question. If you have further questions, do well to drop it in the comment section. I would take my time to go through all your comments and then answer your question. Let me start by congratulating you, Rosemary, for choosing to stop bleaching your skin. If you're one of those who have made this amazing decision to stop bleaching your skin, then here are six things that you must do. The first thing you must do is to trash all your bleaching products. I know this sounds funny and you might say, hey, but I made a decision to stop bleaching my skin. Yes, the truth is, it is not enough to say that you have stopped bleaching your skin. Make this move. Physically trash out all the bleaching products in your skincare chef. Trust me, you need to make physical moves to ensure that all those harmful products aren't within your reach. If you don't do this, you might feel tempted to return back to your vomit, which in this case are those harmful products that bleached your skin in the first place. Just in case you're wondering, like, how do I even know if the product I'm using is bleaching my skin? I've made a video that addresses that and I had also highlighted some of the ingredients that when you see them in any skincare products, you probably shouldn't go for them because it is going to bleach your skin. At the end of the day so if you want to be sure that you are not bleaching your skin you can click on the video link in the description the video is titled skin lightening whitening and brightening but do that after watching this video the next thing you must do especially if you've just stopped bleaching your skin is to work on your mindset this is because the transition from skin bleaching to maintaining your natural skin tint can be a little discouraging to some. See, just be ready to embrace your natural skin tint because there's going to be a beautiful transition from that, you know, unnaturally fair skin to your natural beautiful skin tone so don't be discouraged when you start seeing your skin change into something that looks like mine or a skin tone that is a little darker than mine come on embrace it and always remind yourself that skin tone is not what defines true beauty do you know that there are many light-skinned individuals who do not feel beautiful yes same way you find many dark-skinned individuals who do not feel beautiful in their own skin. One thing they fail to realize is the fact that skin tone is not what defines true beauty. In one of my videos titled Beautiful Love, I had shared my thought on what defines true beauty. I think that's going to help renew your mindset and help you embrace your natural skin tone as you transition, you know, from what is unnatural to the natural beautiful skin tone that you're going to start seeing from now onwards and hey whether you are naturally light skinned dark skinned chocolate skinned i don't care to know your skin tone just know that you're beautiful black is beautiful too be ready to embrace your natural skin tone the next thing you must do if you've just stopped bleaching your skin is to visit a dermatologist i have a reason for saying this the thing is, if you don't have a skin doctor, you need to go get yourself one. Get yourself a specialist. The reason why I need you to go see a dermatologist is because they will help check your skin to know the extent of damage caused by those bleaching products. This will help them determine the best treatment option for you, especially the treatment option that will be suitable for your skin type. 
I'll suggest that you stop listening to random advice from people who lack experience with matters of the skin. I tell you this from personal experience. Please go see a dermatologist. Let them determine the extent of damage caused to your skin by those bleaching products and let them help you treat those damages and then possibly recommend the best products that will suit your skin type. Some of the damage includes skin burn, hyperpigmentation, redness, sensitivity on the skin. Now I know that not many persons can afford seeing a dermatologist. Now even if you're not able to see a dermatologist, I'll suggest that before you change your product, before you get a new skincare product, first know your skin type. This will help you know the right products to choose that will help treat and maintain your skin tone. I'll suggest that you go for products that will moisturize or hydrate your skin while protecting your skin from further damage. Go for products that do not have harmful ingredients like hydroquinone. Also make sure you include sunscreen with SPF sun protection factor of 30 and above. The next thing you must do is Make up your mind to never ever return back to your roommate. When you talk from experience, people listen to you. So I'll suggest that from your experience, you help others know the dangers of skin bleaching and the need for them to embrace their natural skin tone. The last thing you must do is to connect with someone who is very passionate about helping you solve your needs and boosting your self-confidence. If you're yet to find that person, then hey, I am here for you. The goal of this channel is to eliminate flaws. So do well to subscribe to this channel because over here, you're sure to get top beauty secrets that will help solve your beauty needs and boost your self-confidence. That being said, thank you so much for watching this video and I trust that answered your question. If you have other questions, please feel free to drop them in the comment section. I love answering your questions. So please remember that true beauty is not defined by skin tone. To know the difference between skin lightening, skin whitening and skin brightening, click on the suggestion right here. Or if you still don't feel beautiful enough, then there's a video that will help work on your mindset. Click on this video right here and I will see you in either of this video.